Europe's most dangerous volcano, may be heading for an eruption, scientists warn. Campi Flegre in Italy is showing some troubling early warning signs, but scientists warn that its eruption is far from certain. A long dormant, supervolcano, in Italy is inching closer to a potential eruption for the first time since 1538, a new study warns, and the consequences could be catastrophic. The Campi Flegre volcano, near Naples in southern Italy, has an increasingly weaker crust and is more prone to rupturing, making eruptions more likely, said scientists involved in the new study. More than 1.5 million people live above the vast underground volcanic complex, and half a million people live inside the 7-mile-long, 11-kilometer, caldera, which formed after a powerful eruption 39,000 years ago. If Campi Flegre returns to its largest previous eruption, it would throw molten rock and volcanic gas high into the stratosphere, generating a tsunami as high as 100 feet .5 meters, and sending plumes of sulfur and toxic ash that could plunge the Earth into a global eruption. Winter for years, killing plants and causing mass extinctions. The researchers published their findings June 9 in the journal Communications Earth and Environment. Our new study confirms that Campi Flegre is getting closer to collapse, said study lead author Christopher Kilburn, a professor of Earth Sciences at University College London, in a statement. However, he warned that, this does not mean an eruption is certain. Rupture may open a crack in the Earth's crust, but magma still needs to be pushed upwards at the right location for an eruption to occur. Campi Flegre, meaning, burning fields, or, fields of fire, is a vast, mostly hidden network of 24 craters and structures that stretch from the vast caldera opposite Vesuvius on the western edge of Naples to the nearby Bay of Pizzuoli. Although Campi Flegre is often referred to as a supervolcano, this is not known for certain. Supervolcanoes are volcanoes that can produce the highest magnitude eruptions, ranking 8th on the Volcanic Explosion Index, ejecting more than 240 cubic miles 1, cubic kilometers, of material in the process. However, the largest eruption that ever occurred at Campi Flegre released 70 cubic miles 285 cubic km of material making it a Category 7 disaster. One of the dangerous chemical elements that will be released from the eruption cloud is fluorine, which is quite a lot. The amount can kill plants and cause a disease called fluorosis in animals. The volcano has been volatile since the mid-20th century, with increased activity in the 1950s, 1970s, and 1980s. Another period of unrest began in the last decade and is still ongoing, as the ground level beneath Pozzuoli, a town located on the roof of the volcano, has risen by 4 inches, 10 centimeters, annually. Thus causing a total height change of 4 inches, 10 centimeters, each year. 13 feet, 4 meters, since the 1950s. Campi Flegre also continues to experience small earthquakes, with more than 600 detected in April, breaking the largest monthly earthquake total ever recorded in the region. Underground fermentation was likely driven by volcanic gas seeping into the Earth's crust 2 miles 3 kilometers below Campi Flegre's surface, 
absorbing it like a sponge, the researchers said. This causes the Earth's crust to stretch, bend and slip, causing earthquakes to rumble towards the surface. If enough volcanic gas enters the Earth's crust, the heat and pressure it creates can push the rock beyond its critical degassing pressure, cracking it and opening a gap for the underlying magma to burst out in an eruption.